Hi there. And now we're going to talk about the word oxygen. And of course, oxygen is very important to our body. And as you can see, O here, okay, or O2, is something that is really important, okay? Yeah, for example, when you breathe, you are actually trying to take in O2 or oxygen, and at the same time, you push out the carbon dioxide, or we say CO2. This is carbon dioxide, CO2. Okay, and of course, O2 means oxygen. So it's something that is really important to our life. Okay, and here, of course, you have a whole um, can of oxygen. Okay, and hydrogen is also something that is important. Why, you may wonder, because do you recognize this? Right, H2O, and at H2 actually is the chemical name of water, and H here means hydrogen. Okay, so two hydrogens plus one oxygen make water. So, you see, it's important, isn't it? Okay, and uh, as we just mentioned, okay, carbon is also another element. This is an element, we say chemical element, and this is also hydrogen, is also a chemical element, and the carbon is also a chemical element. Okay, element, or in Chinese we say yuan su. Okay, and you may wonder what else? For example, iron, right? Okay, for example, copper. Okay, these are all chemical elements. Okay, and for the rest, you can check the what? Periodic table. What is the periodic table? Well, it's in Chinese, uh, or it's a, well, it's a chart on which all the chemical elements are listed in an ordered way. So now you see what it is. Yeah, you get it. It's called Zhou Qi Biao in Chinese. Okay, and um, well, uh, if you are not really that interested, you can save the trouble, but um, the periodic table is also quite um, an interesting thing, isn't it? Okay, but well, Oxygen is definitely important, and hydrogen is also quite important. So, uh, well, at least you should try to remember these two words. Plus, carbon is also quite important. Okay, so, so much for oxygen. Okay, see you next time. Bye.